Okay, a little self-promotion. This is the Bonnie cart. He always makes a cameo. These are some of my tools. I got some tools inside too. But um, that's not what we're here about. We're here about the um, water. The water coming into the house. This is the meter. It's an analog meter, if you will. And um, the thing about this meter is it's got a flow indicator in here. Some people call it cheater wheel or cheater paddle. Call it what you will. But this is very sensitive. You could have a leak that's so small this doesn't move. But it had to be tiny. That's, that's why it's there. Just look for leaks. When the water company comes out because you think your bill's too high, they'll look at that and say, okay. You're not losing any water. I don't know what to tell you. So today it appears that there's no known potable leak. That's not a, a drain leak that we're talking about. It's not a drain leak. Water into the house. Across here, I have a strong sensation, suspicion, that the lawn sprinkler system's been decommissioned. Why? Well, because this is the main shutoff valve. Excuse me. It is not the main shutoff valve. This is the check valve to the system and the handles are perpendicular not parallel and so that means the water's been turned off this box uh, it's been dirt's moved in here these valves should be uh, this box this irrigation box should be excavated so that you can reach around the valves and service them and you also should have a main shut off too you should but i'm also not noticing a control timer Read your graphic. But they're advertising a lawn sprinkler system. There's not an operable one here. Coming along here. This is the closest exterior bib faucet to the house. And it does not have a vacuum breaker on it. And these are holly bushes. Thank you very little. And you gotta love your job. <sighs> Summertime, this would be awesome. <sighs> Wintertime, I got a coat. I'm looking for between 40 and 80 PSI. The stem's leaking. It does not have an anti-siphon vac breaker on it, and it's a little over 80 psi. Water pressure for the pump is high. Not very high, not very much higher, but you know it's at the top end. And the valve stem is leaking. Usually around here, I see some rods coming up out of the ground as the main water shutoff valve to the house, unlike the main water shutoff valve to the lawn sprinkler system. And in a lot of cases, I just can't find them. There might be one buried around here somewhere, but I'm not seeing a main water shutoff valve. Another thing that's not, very, it's not unusual of a house in this age, in this geographical region, is I'm not seeing a main sewer clean out. So the main water shutoff valve and main sewer clean out is not present. Not a, apparent. Not visible. This pipe coming out of the wall right here, that's your primary drain line for your air conditioning system. And they're allowed to come outside like that. And they've gone and they've added this flexible piping on it, which I think is a good thing, by the way. It's a kind of alternative application, but it brings the water out here, out here instead of on the ground next, next to the house. So that's what we learned. We learned that we don't have a main water shutoff valve, and our water pressure is too high, and we do not have clean out valves. We learned that the water meter has passed its test, so we don't have any fresh water leaks apparently. And we also have suspicions of whether the lawn sprinkler system is even working. So we also learned that it's 35 degrees today, snow flurries. Not really snow flurries, but just a few snow crystals have come down. I'll tell you, I'm cold.